Sonic's Green Hills Adventures Season 1 Chapter 23, Eve to Freedom Tom's Point of View We finally made it into taxi with Sonic in the jacket I brought with me and Shad was in Maddie's. You know guys, I can see those aliens in your jackets, you don't have to hide them from me, I'll keep them a secret. The taxi driver told us reassuringly, we removed our jacket. Don't worry Sonic, I'm sober. All that's left to do is talk to the president and get you that into debt. I told Sonic reassuringly over and I looked over to Sonic. I saw really caught me off guard. Shot out was the closest to the window on the other end of the taxi car. He was also out sobbing this. Then he and Sonic started hugging each other as they cried. Shadow's point of view. As we got into the taxi, I was practically in a frozen state of shock. The only thing that wasn't stuck frozen in that state were my legs so I was still walking. However, once the headquarters were out of our sight, I finally and truly realized that we were free and I couldn't hold it in any longer. I started sobbing heavily, for I've never felt such a powerful sense of relief before. The next thing I knew was Sonic and I hugging each other in relief as tears of pain and relief fell from our eyes. I can't believe it. After six long years, I'm finally free. I cried as I lost the tears. You buddy, you were free. You're gonna love Green Hills. But wait, you were in there for six years. How old are you anyway? Sonic asked with fearful curiosity. I'm 16, so I was 10 when I was locked up. I replied sadly as we were beginning to calm down somewhat. Then Tom smiled at us. I'm going to truly cheer you to have this jelly dogs for lunch sound. Tom asked us with an all-knowing smirk on his face. Yes? 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 Sonic said happily as his tail wagged. I never had one before so sure I like to try new things now that I can. I said happily but I was better at staying calm than Sonic apparently. Great, so after we relax at the hotel for a couple of hours, we will go get them. Maddie said excitedly, then Tom and Maddie proceeded to scratch me, and Sonic behind the ears, then we let out loud purring. I've never been given such physical affection before and now that I've received some I felt home already. Then as I looked back at Sonic, I realized something and had to tell him. You know what Sonic. Ever since I helped you calm you down from your nightmare, you felt like a little brother to me. Uh, does that sound weird? Because if it does, then forget I said a thing. I said nervously because I had no idea of how he'd react. A shadow? That's not weird at all, in fact. Don't a dad can shadow be a part of our family? Sonic said as his face lit up, which was such a relief that this confession excited him. And then we looked over to Tom with confident smirks on our faces. Tom got a who smile on his face. Of course we'll come to the Bohovsky family, Shana. Dad told me happily as he hugged me. Thanks, Dad. I said as I hugged my new dad back. Yes, that means we're brothers now. Sonic said as he held up his fist. Yes, Sonic, indeed we are. Little bro, I said in return as we fist bumped. Then I realized I didn't know Sonic's two other friends. So who are you two? I asked curiously. Oh sorry, Shadow, there are our manners. I'm Crystal and this is Joey. Crystal said apologetically. It's very nice to meet you, I said happily. Hey guys, I have to know Sonic is playing in my head. So do you think the whole nice paper and a pen to use for that? Sonic announced excitedly. But of course, we might have brought your gutter just in case you needed it somehow. Joey replied happily. Oh, well, thanks, guys. Just wait till you hear it. I mean, once I come up with the lyrics and write it down in sheet music form, of course. Sonic said excitedly as we arrived at the hotel. They got out of the taxi, and Tom helped Sonic by carrying him in his arms as Sonic hugged him happily. Thanks, Donut Dad. I can't wait to be cured from this curse, but thankfully I'm patient. Oh, show, sure, wait until you see my getter. It's so cool. 
and I can't wait for you to see our house in my cave. And there's plenty of places to run in. Oh, by the way, do you like to run? Because if you do, I'll race you. Sonic said excitedly. Well, Sonic, slow down and take a deep breath. And then we haven't seen you this excited since we showed you a cave for the first time. Tom said as he put Sonic down gently on the edge of one of the beds. That's honestly an understatement. If my legs were numb, it would be swinging excitedly too. I mean, not only did I meet someone like me on this level, but it's also my new big brother. That's just awesome. Sonic said as he tried to calm himself down. Shadow's point of view. I lost lightheadedly at Sonic's energy, but then I remembered what's happening tomorrow. So I guess we get to meet the president tomorrow, huh? I asked as a way to ease into the topic. You know, it's gonna be so exciting because we get to see the inside of the White House, which I bet is super beautiful. Marina replied with a sparkle of wonder in her eyes. I'm very nervous about it. I hope he's more understanding than Commander Jonathan. I mean, if he's not, there's no escaping this time without becoming fugitives of the entire country. Sonic said seriously, to which we all nodded in agreement. So would you please bring me my Gitter Case Donut, Dad? Sonic asked dramatically. Sure thing, buddy. Dad said happily as he went to grab it. Then Dad handed it to Sonic carefully. Thanks, Donut Dad. Now are you ready to see my amazing gut hair? Sonic asked with a ho smile on his muzzle. You I am, bro. I replied casually. Then I saw his red and white guitar. Ooh, I could d It's beautiful, Sonic. I said in Aoi. Why, well, thank you, Shadow. Sonic says sweetly. Well, do you still have that song in your head? Asked to remind him with a playful smirk. Oh, yeah, I do. Can someone put me on that chair in front of the desk over there? Sonic asked excitedly. Sure thing, bro. I said as I got up. Then I picked him up bridal stall and brought him to the chair. Thanks, Shadow. I love you, big bro. Sonic said sweetly and that warmed my heart. No problem, Sonic, and I love you too, little bro. I said in return with a smile. Then I let him be alone so he could concentrate. Sonic's point of view. After I wrote the instrumental section of the song, I had to think of lyrics to do that. I think back to the moment they came to my head and think about why and what inspired me to have them come to me originally. Um, I was in the taxi, which was not too long after I turned back to normal from them. I need to give that a name, don't I? I'm Dark Sonic, I guess. It happened when the pain and anger became too much for my electric blue lightning to appear instead. Oh, wait a minute. That's it, I said to myself to keep me focused. Then I began to write lyrics down on the sheet music. Once that was done, I picked name. Now all I need to do is make the vocal parts. Um, I wonder if Shadow would like to sing with us. I said as I finished. All right, it's Dawn, guys, and Shadow, I have a question for you, I announce enthusiastically. Cool, so what do you want to ask me, Sonic? Shadow asked me as he brought me back to the bed with the sheet music in my hands. Well, do you like singing? I was thinking you could join our band, The Blow Angels. I kind of made the lyrics of this song for the two of us. I explained sheepishly. Yeah, I love singing, and I would be honored... Shadow replied passionately. Great, well, I'll play it once we're back in Green Hills, since the rest of the instruments are back there at the moment, I said excitedly with a shrug. Well, guys, let's go get those chili dogs. Donut Dad announced enthusiastically, so it would help. Me and Shadow were in cowboy disguises. Then Donut Dad picked me up. Man, as much as I loved being in his arms, I felt so useless not being able to walk on my own. I couldn't wait for that cure. Oh, you now we're talking. I'm starving. I said excitedly as we left the hotel room. After 20 minutes, we entered a cool restaurant. So, Shadow, you ready to try your very first chili dog? I asked as Donut Dad put me down at one of the tables while Shadow sat across from me. Then Donut Dad left to order the food. You bet, Sonic. Hey, they must be really something for them to make you this excited, hell. Huh? Shadow asked me with a curious smirk. You the flavors of chili and hot dog mixed together is the perfect compo, in fact. I replied and took out my phone. I'll film your reaction. This is a moment that must be captured and saved as a home video. If you're okay with it, of course, Shido. I said as I opened the camera amp. 
I see you will go right ahead, Sonic. Shadow said happily. Finally, don't let Dad return with the chili dogs. Okay, got the camera ready, Shadow. Give that chili dog a shot, I said a moment before pressing the record. Then Shadow picked up his chili dog. I watched as his face lit up more than I've ever seen him do before. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thanks, Dad. And Sonic, you literally have great taste. Shadow said as he continued to savor his chili dog. Then I stopped recording and put my phone away. Yep, that's a keeper. You should have seen the adorable look on your face. I said happily as I started eating. That's so satisfyingly delicious. I said as I severed my like as if it was the last meal I would ever have. Later that night, I had a nightmare about my time at gun headquarters and I was in my dark sonic form. No, I'm not a monster. No, don't hurt Shadow. I said in my sleep right before shooting up in the bed, completely shaken up. Then Shadow ran over to me. Sonic, what happened? Shadow asked this, he sat on my bed next to me. It was another nightmare. You and I were in gun headquarters and I was in my dark sonic form. But before my eyes would change, the soldiers called me a monster. Then they were going to hurt you really badly. That's when I woke up. I explained as I cried into his chest fur. It's gonna be alright, Sonic. Once we're finished with our business here in D.C., you'll never have to worry about something like that happening ever again. Shadow said softly and reassuringly as he rubbed my back. I know, but it still won't leave my mind. I think it scared me for life, or something along those lines. I replied through my tears. Honestly, Sonic, I think it scared me too. But we can help each other through this, and we have friends and family to help us too. After all, we are brothers, and we'll look out for each other. Shadow told me as we hugged each other closer and tighter. Thanks, Shadow, and you're right, I said as I'll wipe my tears away. Well, do you think you can go back to sleep now? Or do you want me to stay with you until you fall back asleep? Shadow asked me gently. Please, please stay with me. I asked Shikli for I was so afraid to go to sleep alone. Of course, little bro. Shadow replied as I laid back down. Good night, Shadow, I said as my eyes drove. Good night, Sonic. Shadow said right before I fell back asleep.